Sean. Sean, what's your last name, Sean? Matt. Sean, Matt. Very good. Uh, do you know where you are today? What building is this? Uh, MSU. MSU, very good. And about the approximate time, do you think, of uh, the day? About one, one o'clock. About one o'clock, that's fine. Exactly not perfect, but we know that he's all within the realm of, you know, of um, the exam. So I'm going to say that he's alert and he's oriented times three. Can I confirm that? His speech, dress, and behavior were very much appropriate. Um, listen, I want you to, um, I'm going to test something called long-term memory and stuff. I want you to name the last three presidents in order for me. Okay, we got Trump, Obama, Bush. Yes. Very good. Now I'm going to give you three words to remember, and I'll ask you what those are later on in the exam. Um, those three words are going to be cat, tree, and ball. Okay. Can you repeat those to me? Cat, tree, ball. Good. So um, I just checked his short term, right? So here, probably by the time I'm done with the cranial nerves, about five minutes will have passed. And then I'll go ahead and I'll ask him uh, those questions again, or those three objects. Uh, how about, can you count backwards from 100 by 3 for me? 100, 97, 94, 91, 88. Very good. Um, see, I just kind of went, once he made that big transition from the 90s into the 80s, it took a little bit of uh, uh, intellectual function. So we'll stop there with that. Very good. So the cranial nerves. I want to go through the cranial nerves with you folks just one more time. We're going to test uh, cranial nerve one, right, which is olfactory nerve. Before we can test the olfactory nerve, we need to make sure it's patent. So if you can put your finger, right finger on your, okay, right finger on your left nostril, breathe in, and the other side. Good. Now what I want you to do is close your eyes for me and tell me what you smell. <laughs> Pineapples. Very good. And the other thing, keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Pine cones. Pine cones. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, remember, you don't use alcohol pads or ammonia or anything like that for your system. Cranial nerve two is visual acuity, right? We're going to test visual acuity once again. Remember the old 14-inch string, and then we'll drop them. Maybe hold the card, all the way up there. Now cover your left eye with your left hand. Yep, cupping it. Now I want you to read the smallest line from left to right. Four, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Very good. Switch hands for me. Right at you. Read that one the opposite way. Nine three seven eight two four. Okay, and now I want you to use both eyes. Four two eight seven three nine. Very good. So uh, visual acuity O D O S and O U is twenty twenty. Thank you, sir. Very good. Um, now I'm going to have the uh, I'm going to test those cranial of uh, the uh, extraocular movements, right? The cardinal gaze positions, right? Um, I want you to just follow my pen for me, right? Just keep your head real still. Just use your eyes and follow my pen. them in these positions just for about a second or two to see if I can stimulate any nystagmus at all. Right? And then I'll bring it right back to center. Okay, very good. So EOMs are intact, uh, full range of motion uh, with no nystagmus. Now we're going to ask um, this cranial nerve 5, look at the number 11 there about cranial nerve sensory. I'm going to say the sensory and so can you just to make it easier, flowing easier. Um, when we do light touch, uh, cranial nerve five motor, we're going to go ahead and just palpate one of those muscles of mastication. There's the temporal punch, jaw finger, good, release, and then the mass center punch. Okay. So those are um, cranial nerve five motor. And then we're going to inspect for symmetry of facial movement, and it's done just as simple as this. I want you to uh, raise your eyebrows, right, frown, crunch your face, puff out your cheeks. Hold on there. Close your eyes and keep them closed. I want to be open. Right. So we've checked all of the branches of cranial nerve seven, um, and then auditory acuity. Remember auditory acuity? Yeah. I want you to close your eyes. You tell me where you hear sound. Okay. Left, right, or both? Left, right, or both. Very good. So that is cranial nerve eight. Cranial nerve nine, right? We'll be testing for the gag reflex, which we're going to pass on that one, and then inspect for midline rise of, of the uvula with formation. So I would have gagged him and then just say ah. Uh, right? And I'm looking for the rise and fall of the uvula. I mentioned it's midline, which is midline. And soft, tissue, soft palate rises to that. Cranial nerve 11, right, is rotating the head. And then movement of the head, right, rotating um, the head left and right. So I'm going to have you turn into my hand. Good. Turn into my hand. Very good. And then raise shoulder, shoulders. 
And then cranial node 12 is the tongue is midline without deviation, so I'm having to protrude his tongue. Stick it out, move it side to side. So it's midline uh, with no deviation. And then I'm going to have him recall those three words that I gave you. Uh, <laughs> 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 cat ball tree. There it is. <laughs> so that's all you have to do is just break a tongue blade and you get an actual sharp and a dull. Right? You're going to test sharp and dull. And it tells you here in the survey that his eyes are going to be closed for sure. Um, and we most certainly incorporate the cranial nerve 5 center component in this section or in 20 with the light, light touch. It's better with the light touch. Um, but they want you to use it here as well. Um, we're going to go by Bates dermatomes. Um, and then you have to name the dermatome that you're testing right as you go through. We're going to do three branches of the trigeminal nerve in the face. We're going to check the minimum. Um, the lateral and medial aspects of the upper arms, the forearm, uh, the radius, the median, and the ulnar nerves, then three paired locations on the trunk, and we'll talk about what dermatomes we'll pick there, and then uh, mini uh, minimum of medial and lateral aspect of each thigh. So we've got L3s and L4s, so I want to just make sure that we hit the lateral aspects of some of them and the medial aspects of some as well. Anytime we use a dull stimulus to throw off our patient, right, to change it up, we always follow that same spot with a sharp. And that's about it for the dermatomes. Not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and lay back. I have to have him in an anatomical position, right? So the palms should be face up. Um, I'm going to test um, the cranial nerve five, the three branches. Tell me sharp or dull. Okay. Eyes closed. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Sharp. Sharp. I'm going to go into C4. Sharp. Sharp. Going down to T1. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. C5. Sharp. C5. Sharp. C6. Sharp. C6. Dull. C6. Sharp. This is also C6. Sharp. Sharp. Dr. Valle's favorite, C7? Mm -hmm. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. And then C8? Sharp. Dull. Sharp. T4 is the nipple line. We're going to use T10. We're going to mention T4. T10? Sharp. Sharp. And then the iliac crest? Sharp. Sharp. And then I'm gonna come right down to the thighs, right? So right to the thighs. L3. Sharp. Sharp. L4. Dull. Sharp. L4. Sharp. L5. Sharp. Sharp. S1. Dull. And then I'm going to do, I have to do three on the feet, right? The soles of the feet. So this. Sharp. This is sharp. This is um, L5. Sharp. S1. Sharp. S1. Dull. Sharp. L4. Sharp. L4. Dull. Dermatomes, okay? So then it's going to be the light touch, right? And light touch is just that, right? So we kind of do this really crazy thing with our cock swap. So we got a really light touch. Again, cranial nerve 5, right? The sensory of cranial nerve 5. Tell me when I, when I touch you, say now. 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 C4. Now. Now. C5. Now. Now. T1. Now. C6. Now. T1. Now. C6. Now. C6. Now. C6. Now. C7. Now. 7. Now. 8. Now. C8. Now. T4 is the nipple line. T10. T10. <laughs> <laughs> now. 
about T10. <laughs> He's not going to feel this through his shorts, but it would be now, right? And then I would come right back down, going right through my, so now L3, now L4, now now L5, now L5, now S1, now S1, now L5, now L5, now L4, now L4, now. So light touch, okay? Or uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. It tells you right here that his eyes need to be closed, and that's true, right? Um, and the tuning fork must be vibrating lightly as not to provide a tactile, uh, provide tactile, but not an auditory simulation, right? We don't want him to hear it, so we don't need to be banging it on stuff, right? So go ahead and close your eyes, and you tell me what you feel. Uh, on the toe, vibration. Vibration. And what else do you Sense. Proprioception, we talked about grasping a finger and toes, right, um, from the sides. So, listen up real quick. You know, yes. This is up, this is down. So I'm demonstrating. This is up, this is down. This is up, this is down. Okay? Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to tell me, up or down? Down. So proprioception. Stereognosis, right? We're going to have them recognize a couple of small things. And like I said, the two favorite things, your eyes closed. Two favorite things. All right, I'll put something in your hand if you can tell me what it is. Pen light. Pen light. Very good. Keep your eyes closed. Put something in your hand. Tell me what it is. Reflex happens here. You see this muscle twitch? It's not that I got this movement, but I actually got a twitch of the muscle. So I'll come out of this side. Do it again. Nice and loose. Good. Good. That is the triceps. The biceps is here. The rest is on here. I put my thumb over just at the, the insertion of the biceps muscle of the tendon, you can kind of feel it right here. And I actually strike my thumbnail. And what I'll get is I'll get a twitch here or a twitch in the, in the biceps muscle. So this one. Then there's the breaker radialis, right? I like to keep it on just like that because I can feel it in his hand. And it kind of puts his hand in that upward neutral position, about two thirds of the way down my forearm. And you'll feel a twitch in his hand. See the, see the reflex? Okay, same thing on this side. And that's all it takes to reflex it. Okay? So that is the breaker radialis. Then I'll come down the patella, go ahead and back up for me. Just like that. I usually place my hand over the patella tendon, right? I use the, the angular side of my reflex hammer. <laughs> and here. Okay. I'll come down here to the Achilles. I dorsiflex his foot, and I strike the Achilles, and I can feel him push on my hand. Okay. So dorsiflex. The Benskis, no one likes this bad boy, but it actually you're supposed to start it on the heel, right? The calcaneus, and you drag it across the foot. No response is good. A bad response is that his toes would flare open like that. That's a positive Babinskis, right? Typically, it's either no response or you curl down. Right? That's a negative Babinski. Can you back to a curl up a little bit? Um, can you curl up some? You can curl up some, but see how yours kind of want to go downward? That's a downward going toe. Right? Even though this toe didn't move, most of your toes are downward going. Okay? Alright, so that's the Babinski. 
Uh, so DTR is a two plus and symmetrical, toes are down point. So I'll report that. Right. Cerebellar exam, I'll also demonstrate this for them. So the cerebellar, the first one is the heel to shin. And the heel to shin, I take their foot, and I'm like, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take this heel, start right here, I want you to bring it all the way up, and then I want you to bring it all the way down without coming off the shin, okay? Okay, go ahead. And the other side. Very good. Um, it says evaluate bilaterally with eyes closed while you're doing that, so don't forget to have close his eyes. Rapid alternating movements. You can have them tap against your hands and your feet. Um, you can start, we'll start by putting your hands on your thighs, palms down. I want them on palms up, palms down. I'll do that as fast as you can. Really? Fast as you can. And we'll do the same thing down here. Just tap with your feet, fast as you can. Very good. The finger to nose is as simple as. See my finger? Now I want you to touch my finger. Right. So you want to get him at a full length. It's not like this, right? It's not like he's got to lean forward to try to touch it either, right? So I just want to get him at full length right here. Now I want you to touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Close your eyes. Touch my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Right? And it's okay if they're off a little bit. It's not going to matter. Over here, not good. Over here, not so good. But off just a little is okay. Now I want you to walk up to here on a, in a normal gait. I want you to do a circle. Then I want you to walk back on your heels. Okay? So I'm watching symmetry, his gait, the stance, the push off. Right? On your heels. What, te what are we testing here, do you think? What innervates the calcaneus? What is that root? You're wanting to say it? Starts with an S. S1. It ends with a Y. Dang it. <laughs> now I want you to turn that up. Now I want you to walk on tippy toes. What are we testing here? L5. Alright. Nice. Okay, turn around. Come back. Now I want you to do a tandem walk, toe in front of, foot next in front of the next toe. Balance. Great. Now that we have him done here, now let's go ahead and test for the longer test. First, I'm going to have you stand with your feet together, mm -hmm. just like this, right? And I'll give him just a second to stand there. Right, we talked about visual cues, help us in spatial sense, right? So we want to eliminate that. We're going to do that with the Romberg tests. So now I want you to close your eyes. Now when I do have him do this, I kind of stand behind him. Uh, a positive Romberg is he'll start rocking, right? And it'll be from the, it won't, it won't be in the hip, it'll be a whole body. So you got to be here protecting him, right? So checking the Romberg. You do that for 30 to 60 seconds. We're not going to hold you there on exam day, but it's a 30 to 60 second test. Okay, arms straight up with palms up. Palms up. So now we're in supination. Now we're going to check for pronator drift. So I'm going to lightly tie this on. It should stay right where it is. If it was positive, remember this thing will start pronating and drift. 